In this video lesson, you're going to learn how to open and close the hi-hats within simple rock beats. This may be a little difficult to master at first, but once you have it down, it's a great way to add spice to your favorite beats. Take a look at the provided sheet music. If you look at the last eighth note in beat one, you can see that there's a small circle above that final note. This indicates that the hi-hats are to be opened on that beat. So right as you strike the hi-hats, you'll open them up with your left foot. Here's how that looks and sounds. Sometimes notation will have a small plus sign on which you are to close the hi-hats. But wherever that is not present, as is the case on this page, you simply close the hi-hats on the next hi-hat stroke. So for this first beat, the next hi-hat stroke would be the one count when you repeat the groove. Let me demonstrate the first example for you now. Pay close attention to when I open and close the hi-hats. Now, did you notice how the hi-hats are fully closed at the point when I strike them on the next beat? I don't strike them as they are closing, but rather close them just a millisecond before striking that next note. Watch again as I demonstrate example two. Be sure you are completely synchronizing all the various limbs while playing these exercises. It helps to count out loud, or at least have a clear count in your head while playing these. Watch again as I demonstrate the third example. Okay, the final example includes one new element. That is the introduction of 16th notes being played on the snare drum. Now remember what I told you earlier. You always close the hi-hats on the next hi-hat stroke. So, this extra snare drum shot gets played while the hi-hats are still open. You don't close them on the snare shot, but instead continue to wait and close them on the following hi-hat stroke. I hope that wasn't too confusing, but I'll demonstrate it for you now so you can see exactly how this is to be played. Okay, there you have it. Take these beats to your kit, and once you have them mastered, Implement this new technique within some of your favorite beats. I think you'll be pleased with the results.